Marijuana kills brain cells. I thought the same thing. You know, I didn't start smoking pot until about five years ago. I thought pot made you stupid. You know, I bought into it just as much as anybody did. I realized when I was like 30 years old that I was tricked. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. 1974, the Heath Tulin study. Ronald Reagan announces, the most reliable scientific sources say permanent brain damage is one of the inevitable results of the use of marijuana. Monkeys pumped full of marijuana, apparently 30 joints a day, had begun to atrophy and die after 90 days. Brain damage was determined after counting the dead brain cells of both monkeys who had been subjected to the marijuana and ones who had not. This study became the foundation of the government and other special interest groups claim that marijuana kills brain cells. Here's what they didn't tell you. After six years of requests, how the study was conducted was finally revealed. Instead of administering 30 joints a day for one year, Dr. Heath used a method of pumping 63 Colombian strength joints through a gas mask within five minutes over three months. They suffocated the monkeys. What they did is they put these gas masks basically on their face and they pumped pot into it, but without additional oxygen. So after X amount of time, the brain shut down. Well, if you suffocate, the first thing that's going to happen is your brain cells are going to die with lack of oxygen. So what they did is they suffocated the monkey, showed all these dead brain cells, and then, uh, then went on to associate it by saying that cannabis use causes your brain cells to die. And how many people, not knowing the origin of the study, have gone on to call it and record it. And now people believe it. Studies since have shown no signs of any brain cell damage. In 2005, new research suggested that marijuana could possibly stimulate brain cell growth. That study hasn't received the same attention. Another common belief, marijuana causes lung cancer. In the 1999 study by the Institute of Medicine that was paid for by the United States government, they had to use words like may and uh, should cause cancer. We've been hearing for years them trying to say that it causes lung cancer and we say really that's interesting because you can't even show us one case of cancer being caused by cannabis use alone. With an average of 430,000 deaths per year, considering it's a number one killer, it's interesting to know that tobacco receives government subsidies and is grown with radioactive fertilizer. Number two on the list if we don't include poor diet and physical inactivity, with well over 85,000 deaths a year, alcohol. As we look much further down the list, there are others that may surprise you. Caffeine comes in with one to 10,000 deaths a year. And some of our most popular pain relievers, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, still make an appearance with over seven and a half thousand deaths annually. Where does marijuana lie in this? What kind of staggering number do we find? There are no deaths from cannabis use anywhere. You can't find one. Anybody who is at all sophisticated about marijuana would rate them the way two researchers were asked to rate drugs in order of addiction. Nicotine was one, alcohol was two, then heroin, then cocaine, then coffee, and then marijuana. There may have been a couple of other drugs, but marijuana was at the very bottom, uh, below coffee. You know, in the days of Harry Anslinger, uh, it was called uh, the stepping stone hypothesis. If you stepped on this stone, marijuana, you were bound and determined to go on to the next stone, which would be one of the so-called hard drugs. There is no inherent psychopharmacological property of the drug which pushes one toward another drug. I drink alcohol. That's my drug of choice. It could be said I started on milk. I mean, this is crazy. If I use marijuana, why does that automatically make me a candidate to black tar heroin? It's a nonsensical argument. But what about the potency of the drug? Marijuana is dangerous. There's higher THC levels than ever before. Anytime you got a bag of Colombian dope 20 years ago, it was way better than the Mexican swag that you normally got. So there's always been a range of THC in plants, and the fact that we can now grow stuff that's the equivalent of what Colombian was 20 years, well, it doesn't mean that we're boosting THC to unheard of levels. It just means, you know, hi, there are some nuances in this discussion that people should be aware of. People say, well, you can abuse marijuana. Well, shit, you can abuse cheeseburgers, too. You know, you don't go around closing Burger King because you can abuse something. I can take a fucking fork and jam it in my eyeballs. That mean forks should be illegal? There are far more crimes committed under the influence of unadulterated, if you will, emotions. Anger, rage, jealousy. 
A lot of our understanding is driven by what's in the paper and on the television and the radio these days, and we get extremes and the black and white thinking is reinforced, I think, by that. Marijuana is just a weed, and marijuana is worth more ounce for ounce than gold. You don't find legal commodities, you know, at, at $200 an ounce. You don't even find them at $200 a pound. Heck, most things are $200 a ton for corn and grain and barley. We should legalize marijuana, tax the hell out of it, and put every dime back into the healthcare system. Taxation and legalization? Doesn't that seem a little extreme? Wouldn't it be better to just decriminalize? The distinction is simple. Legalization of marijuana makes it a product that is legally available to adults. That doesn't mean that there's unregulated distribution, unregulated sale, and unregulated use. The decriminalization of marijuana still makes it an offense. You're not going to go to jail for it under a decriminalized model, but society is still saying no, 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 no. It doesn't address the problems of organized crime, and it doesn't create um, a situation where you have retail sales. Decriminalization is just kind of a goofy concept. To say that it's legal to own something, to use it, to possess it, but not to produce it or sell it, it just seems like this illogical position because where did this stuff come from? It's the worst of both worlds. Sends out an incredibly bad message. It should be controlled like alcohol, like, like tobacco. Even Francis Young, the DEA's own judge, who took medical testimony for over two weeks, made this statement. Marijuana, in its natural form, is one of the safest, therapeutically active substances known to man. Yet, despite this, and the ever-mounting number of real-world patient success stories, cannabis remains listed as a Schedule I narcotic. Under that category, marijuana is classified as having no known medical value. When we first met Greg, the shaking was so severe that he informed us that he would need a few puffs of marijuana in order to participate in the interview. The difference was night and day. What do you say to those that say marijuana needs to be tested and regulated and have the high taken out for pharmaceutical companies to consider it a valuable medicine? Huh. That's a pretty and I only mean this as a measurement as to how much it is actually a pathetic thing to say. I mean, just look at me. Is it not blatantly obvious that I have just enjoyed however many tokes? I look happy. Greg has been using marijuana for years and stated to us that he's never experienced any negative effects. I'm never. <laughs> I need, I need my marijuana. <laughs> That's <laughs> stupid. It takes away my discomfort, let's call it. It does enhance my very being. Where do you think you'd be if you didn't get to smoke it like you with your pain? <laughs> I would have found a way. What politician can come before their constituents today and say marijuana should be decriminalized when yesterday they said it was evil and dangerous? Their constituents are going to want to know why you changed your mind. Were you lying to us or were you stupid? Either way, you're not getting elected next time.